Okay, so hello everybody and welcome to this video. Um, in this video, we're going to look at a Nivea case study on segmentation. Now, you probably all have heard about segmentation through the well-known STP strategy that we talk about. So STP is segmenting, targeting and positioning. And Nivea is known for having one of the most sort of interesting and diverse and indeed complex segmentation strategies. So this is going to make for a great case study and we're going to actually look particularly at sun care and look at how Nivea have segmented the market such that they can meet the needs of as many potential customers as possible. So first of all, let's just have a little look at Nivea itself as a brand and as a company. OK, so we'll all have heard of Nivea. Nivea is renowned um, around the world as a brand. But just to give you a little background on Nivea itself, it's actually the, the company behind Nivea is called Bayersdorf, which is an international skincare company in, in, in Germany. And they also, besides the Nivea brand, they also have Elastoplast, they have Atrixo, and they have Eucerin as well. So they're not just Nivea, although they're particularly well known for the Nivea brand. And over the past 10 years, the company's really grown here in the UK. And it has done so by developing this amazing um, portfolio of brands. They just keep on building their portfolio. And the more they build their portfolio, the more... Um, the products are supporting one another, the, the broader the portfolio is going, the more customers they're able to reach. And so they've really built this sort of all encompassing brand, which has everything from sort of female face and body products all the way to men's shaving gels from deodorants to sun care products. Um, and it's particularly good at identifying segments that really meet individual consumer needs. So segmentation is when um, the company splits the market into little segments which they can then target with particular products. So let's have a quick look at some of the products that Nivea have. I'm going to show you a quick video now of the products. I want you to look carefully and just have a think. Who are they trying to reach with these particular products? Who is it that they're after and what are they trying, what kind of needs are they trying to meet for these particular consumers?
Okay, so we're, for the purpose of this case study, we're going to look at the, the sun care or the sun range um, products that Nivea have. And they have um, an enormous number of products, around about um, 40 products just in the sun care segment alone. Um, and they have within sun care and the sun range three main product segments. The first one is um, sun protection. And that includes moisturizing sun lotions of all dis different factors, moisturizing sun sprays, different factors, firming sun lotion, sensitive sun lotion, pampering protection mousse, and children's sun lotion, and children's sun spray, and baby sun lotion. So you can see that they've covered a broad range of consumers just within the protection product segment. And then they, so, that, so that's all really about just protection, protecting from the sun. Um, and a lot of money is spent in the UK on sun protection and more on Nivea products than any other products. So if we come to the next seg product segment, this is um, after sun and they have um, different, again, different products within this range. They have moisturizing after sun lotion, cooling after sun spray, an after sun tan prolong, prolonger, and a regenerating after sun balm. So again, they've gone into um, a lot of thinking about this particular segment in the UK. And after sun didn't used to be a particularly big product that people sought, but it's become um, increasingly important to UK consumers and that particular product segment is actually growing rapidly. So then if we look at the final product segment that they have is um, a sun touch, is about self tanning. So this is more of a cosmetic appeal. This is, this is for certain people who really use sun products for cosmetic purposes. And again, they've, they've segmented this particular product very carefully. They have a sun touch lotion from normal to dark skin. They have sun touch caring spray. And finally, they have a product which is called the sun touch wipes. And these are really about, they've thought very carefully about this and it's very much about convenience. So now we're going to have a look at in more detail the segmentation strategy. How have they segmented their consumers? Okay, so now we look really in detail at the um, segmentation strategy. And this is sort of the, the more interesting part, the more nitty gritty, so to speak. So how have they done this? Well, first of all, if we think in terms of demographics, um, and those are different groups of consumers who behave differently, um, and factors can relate to age or gender or any of those things. Um, and the demographic differences that are relevant to Nivea, um, particularly Nivea Sun, include different buying behaviours specifically between, say, men and women and, say, adults and children. Because there's a stark contrast between the awareness and usage of sun care products between men. So, for instance, men are more likely to prefer um, convenience and, and quick on the go kind of a product than it is for, for women who might particularly prefer a luxurious sun care product and take their time to, to apply such products. And similarly with adults and children, um, there's very much a, a, a difference in those um, requirements. So children, for instance, want to be able to apply the product quickly and to be able to jump into the water. So there's a lot just at the demographic stage of in, in terms of segmentation, men, women, adults, children. So the demographic segments are broad. Um, and research actually shows that the level of awareness of sun care transcends income and social class. So there are other things to consider as well. Into demographic segments themselves are too broad and Nivea really want to get to reach everybody and to, to re answer the needs that everybody has had. So they have looked into um, benefits sought, um, the usage occasion. So for instance, do people want uh, sunscreen when they're going to work? Do they want it when they're on holiday? Do they want it when they're doing sports? Do they want it when they're doing gardening? So there's a 
do they want it when they're going surfing? So there's a lot of different occasions when um, people need these sun care. And also in terms of benefits sought, is it, as I say, convenience, as in the case of men? Um, or is it something perhaps a little bit more cosmetic? What are the benefits that people are seeking? And then um, <clears throat> Nivea looked into attitudinal approaches to buying um, sun care products and looked at um, what what type of what what are the what is the, the attitudes of the consumers what is it that they need what are they looking for and they actually found um, five groups of consumers they found concerned consumers where a good tan is not important they're really conscious of the harmful effects of the sun and they purchase sun protection products that are most likely to offer the, the highest protection benefits. They found sun avoiders, people who completely avoid sunbathing and using sun protection. Um, they see it as a bit of a chore. They just don't want to do that. Um, so perhaps through education, um, they may be able to find more um, details about the products and easy to apply products such as sprays so they are still a target segment even though they currently avoid the sun they also found conscientious sun lovers who adore the sun um, and they like to use a trustworthy brand um, with suitable protection factors quite a sort of straightforward segment and they found a group through through their questionnaires through the market research that they did they found a group called which they named careless tanners and they adore the sun, but they don't really care about the dangers. So they don't do much to protect. So once again, education is important. Um, and, and, and once again, they should not be buying a low SPF um, product. They should be taught about buying the ones that are most applicable to their skin. And then there was a, a group that they found called the Naive Beauty Conscious. Um, and they like to have a good suntan all year round. And they always want to look tanned. Um, and they may be interested in the core features of a sun um, protection product, but be more inclined to purchase an added value offering, such as perhaps um, a mousse, a more, more cosmetic product. So we can see there um, just the, the, the extent to which Nivea have gone to just in their sun care um, product range to really drill down and look at their, their, their market in a lot of detail, considering attitudes, use education, benefits sought, and then use the, their market research to identify the key consumer segments. And as a result, have created products to answer the needs of those particular consumers. So that's, that is um, a very, very good example of a complex um, segmentation strategy, but one which has been really well executed. Um, so I hope you've um, enjoyed this video. I hope you got some good insights into what Nivea are doing in terms of segmentation. And I hope you've gained a much better and perhaps fuller understanding of what segmentation actually means. So remember, when we talk about STP, and we're talking about segmentation, you can always use Nivea as a, a Nivea Sun Care as a classic example of a brand who have really done this in extraordinary detail. Thank you so much for watching.